Good morning, everybody. All right, we are April 19th. It's been a while. I hope you're all doing well. Uh, I know it's been a long time since my last video, but I was waiting to actually get some information that I needed, and I was having some struggles. Uh, now, my weight was a struggle, but it's above all that. So every once in a while, I get these, um, due to medical issues, I get these problems with my stomach, or I get these major, major cramps that stay for 24-7. And when I find myself on an empty stomach, you just, it's brutal. It's completely brutal. So uh, I always keep some food in me just to keep the pain away. Because whenever you're in this type of pain, <clears throat> that's that's the most important part. It's just no pain. No pain. So um, weighed in my, I weighed in. I'm still hovering in the two. I'm actually higher up. I'm around 295 now. Um, because, well, okay, some sometimes I eat some not so great food, but... Uh, I mean, I, I, it's just, it's just like, it's, everything's off right now. And, uh, because of the pain, this and that, I'm also not getting pretty good sleep these days. And anyways, there's a lot that's been kind of affecting, uh, for this channel, my weight, but on a personal level, life as, as a whole has been, uh, has been kind of rough these days. So, uh, but the, the reason, uh, now I'm making a video is because I finally spoke to my doctor. So I was waiting for this. We were we were, I had been talking about this for a while, and my last appointments got canceled. So finally, I was able to go, and uh, I spoke about a few of the problems I had. So um, we'll start with my uh, stomach pain. So for the stomach pain, well, uh, I know not everybody's been here since the start, but uh, I have to do some colonoscopies. I've had some cancer scares and whatnot. You have to be on top of that, and that can also make you sleepy um, whenever things aren't going so well. So I need to check check on that. And then um, for the uh, the fact that I was telling my doctor that when I wake up, I'm tired. And I've done the test for the sleep apnea a few years ago and I was fine. And that was before I lost all this weight. So, I, you know, it's very odd that now, now that I'm 70 pounds lighter-ish, um, that I would have that issue. But that being said, I have my mom that's actually sleeping here. She has surgery not long ago. So she's spending a couple days here just to recover. And she has an apnea machine. And I tried to use it last night and uh, I still woke up tired. Didn't help me. Now, of course, it hasn't been uh, configured to me or anything like that. I just put it at the minimum level. Just to give me a little extra boost. See if it made a difference. No bueno. So, uh, yeah. So uh, whenever I spoke to him about that, well, he started questioning. He goes, well, how are your moods? I said, well, you know, up and down. And I said, I'll be honest with you. I said, my moods are affected often by the food that I eat. So it's like a vicious circle. When I'm eating well, I'm getting my exercise. Overall, I feel like I'm, I don't want to say like a better person, but kind of do. Um, where I'm on, on top of it. At work, uh, I work better at home. I just, I, I'm just, I'm just more active overall and my mood's better. I said, but whenever I become stagnant, or uh, put on some weight, then mentally you kind of go in the other way. So, uh, and he started asking about my work. Goes, how much do you work? Well, I work uh, probably fifty-five to sixty hours a week. And he just kind of stopped there. He goes, do you think that's normal? Do you, do you think it's normal that you're working the, this, these many hours? I said, well, I don't have a choice. He goes, well, how how can I help you? You know, with all these hours. He goes, you got to get your life style. You got to make some changes. Uh, because it's not healthy. So that being said, he, you know, I said, I'm the sole provider here. So it's kind of complicated. Um, but yeah, something to look into anyway. Okay. Now, more importantly, what about the weight loss? What about Sigzenda? I, I told him that um, it hasn't been working since about Christmas. And I said, I've been trying, I'm trying, and it's just, I'm getting more side effects than everything else. He was not surprised. He goes, yes, it's, it's not something you use for the rest of your life. Eventually, you do come become kind of immune to it. And uh, I asked him, I said, can I try something else? He goes, well, he goes, it's kind of redundant at a certain point. He goes, that being said, he goes, let me talk to my nurse. He spoke to his nurse and he goes, listen, just to give you a shot at trying something else because you have showed, you have shown that you, uh, you're doing the effort and you're getting some good numbers. He goes, we're going to try to start you up on a Zempic. So uh, I'm waiting for a call now for a Zempic from the nurse and she's she's gonna call me give me all the details about it and then allow me to go pick it up at the pharmacy and uh 
He goes, that wouldn't be my recommendation. He goes, but if that's what you want to try, go ahead and try. And I said, you know, I'm documenting this at the same time. I said, maybe people would appreciate what it's like to change, to see the change between one and the other. Can I get better effects or, or is it completely useless and, and whatnot? So he agreed to that, but he goes, um, we're going to try for six months. And unless you're getting some big results, he goes, what the conversation I want to have with you now is actually a conversation he didn't want to have with me last time. He goes, I think you are now ready for the gastric bypass. And uh, I told him I was a bit nervous about it because I've had complications with just colonoscopies. So, um, but he goes, you know what? You're 40 years old. He goes, you're, you're in pretty good shape. You're looking good. He goes, I, I, I spoke to him about my diet, what I was doing. He goes, sounds like you got the diet down really well. The intermittent fasting is a great idea. He goes, I have no problem with you having a small lunch and then just going to town for dinner. He goes, that's, that's fantastic. He goes, you, you know what you need to do. He goes, I don't want you going back up getting discouraged and then it becomes an issue. He goes, if you, if I were to give you a note now to get the gastric bypass, he goes, because you know what you're doing and because you're showing effort and you're trying, he goes, I guarantee by the time you were done your gastric bypass, you'd be under 200 pounds. He goes, and that in itself is life changing. He goes, I know you're scared about the complications, he goes, but the advantages far outweigh the complications. And the fact that you're still young enough to recover and your bloods are still good. You don't have the high pressure. You don't have this. You don't have that. He goes, I don't know if at 45, if we have the same conversation, you may not be eligible anymore. So he goes, now's the time to act. Goes that, But that being said, if you want to try a Zempic, which I do, he goes, I'll give you six months. Goes, but in six months, let's have a real conversation and see where we're going with this. So I think I agree with him. Um, I don't know. I don't, right now, I don't want that. I don't want the bypass. I don't want it. I don't want to be cut. I don't want the surgery part. I want to, I want to feel like I could do it without that. I have some pride, in, which, you know, could, uh, could be your fall, right? So it's not. You shouldn't just base everything in life off pride, right? It's a bad idea. But I still, that's still how I feel right now. So I'm hoping uh, as between Ozempic and the summer that I can uh, shake off the tiredness a little bit. It should start calming down. I have May is going to be pretty crazy. But starting June, it's going to get better. And July and August will be a lot better. So hopefully the whole process will kind of give me less time uh, at work more time for myself and between the kids I'm getting a little bit older now and doing more sports and activities i've been going to the park quite a bit with them to play baseball to play frisbee uh taking the bikes out like we've started so hopefully put all that together a nice big package if i can get right up here and just stop go back to what worked you know skip my breakfast small lunch i don't need to go with the shake all the time i love that shake but i don't need to do that that sandwich i was having that's 300 calories is a great, uh, great substitute, and uh, and then I can just go to town for dinner, eat whatever the hell I want. Then that sound nice. It sounds so nice to me. Why am I not able to get there now? I just feel like I have bigger problems. And again, we, with the with my uh, the pain in my stomach that I'm waiting for it to go away. I've had it for a good couple of weeks now. Um, I just I'm just kind of by, by buying time. So uh, that's where I stand. Anyways, so uh, that's pretty much it for now. Um, that's the latest update. Good news is I'm going to try a new med. When, I'm not sure. Is it going to take a day, a week? I don't know when this nurse is going to call me. And uh, yeah, I'm excited to to document that too and show you guys where we're going from here. And uh, I'm going to try to put some more effort. I think I'm going to try to power through the pain a little bit for at least a few days, see if I can shake it off somehow, change a lot of things in my diet. And uh, let's give it another shot, guys. We're working on it. Listen, it's... It's a long journey. It's a very long journey. A lot of ups and downs and and we're not giving up. We don't give up. So let's see where we go from here. All right, guys. Thanks for checking in. I'll see you guys later.